okay, here I have my three pieces for my train. I've used um, the first two, which is the first bustle, the one near the top, and then the middle bustle. Uh, I used the, pat the pieces that came with the pattern for that because they seemed to be okay after I did a quick trial. The bottom piece that came with the pattern though wasn't right. Um, so I've had to reshape that, but you'll see why a bit later as we're going along. But basically those are my three pieces. And also you need to cut some tool net the same again. So you'll cut another two rectangles and another piece of net the same. And also there's a ruffle on the bottom. So the ruffle is a long piece of net which will be gathered. Again, you will see this later on. Thank you. Okay, the next thing it says to do is with right sides up, get your piece of taffeta, lay that on, and then your piece of net. Now I've already pre-decorated this with these Swarovski crystals and it says that you have to have right sides to right side. So make sure the shiny side on your crystal is facing down so that the dull side on all your crystals is facing up. Then you'll know you have it the right way. And then you have to pin the edge of your net to the edge of your taffeta all the way down, making sure that they both meet down the side here. And then the same for the other side as well. Pin quite a way in. the way down to the bottom, like so, making sure that both the edges on your pieces meet at the sides. You're then going to machine sew all the way from top to bottom, about a centimetre in. Okay, the next thing I've got to do is gather the edges all the way along the top and all the way along the bottom but first I've just put some pins in place because this net has a mind of its own so just to help me I've put some pins along and I've done the same at the top and then I've got to run a gathering stitch as I say all the way along the top just to pull it all in and I've got to do that for both pieces as so both rectangles The next part of our train, I'm going to make my top band, band which measures 11 centimetres long, and this has been folded in half already, so the mouth there is four, so it was eight centimetres wide before it was folded in half, and I've sewn down the edges there. That makes it like that. And we turn it inside out so that the seams on the inside, like so. Okay, I've now put my gathering stitches top and bottom, and we're now gathering the top of the edge, like so. Okay. 
this is the top of the top tray that's been gathered and just finished off so it doesn't come undone and when it's folded over double it will fit into that little pocket that we made earlier and then we go down to the bottom of the train and it's going to be gathered up and you're also going to gather up the next train down and the band that we're going to use to connect the two is this section here in the pattern it's way too big for what we need it's only a very small band that connects the two together so we're going to make this 24 centimeters wide by 8 centimeters and what we're going to do now is connect the two together okay so starting with the top train we go down to the, the bottom row okay working with the upper train this is the top that goes at the waist so we're going to go to the bottom section and evenly spread out the gathers then what we're going to do is attach our band across that section leave about a centimeter overlapping and pin that all the way across centimeter overlapping at the other side like so and the rest will be fitted in inside this band Now then, we've attached the band with our pins and it's best to tack all that first before uh, you actually join everything together so you can take all your pins out. But the next section now has to be done. So, take the bottom tier the middle section yeah, middle, middle. middle tier and that's been gathered up to fit the band as well so now we're going to join the two together so. okay we've now sewn the band to the ruffle and if I turn it the right way out this is what it's going to look like with a seam left over at both ends. So now we're going to attach the top tier to the middle tier. So, what? Right, now we've got the middle tier which has been gathered to the same length as the previous one and then we're going to get the band again but this time we're going to attach it to two there. That we pin, tacked and sewn. Okay, now we've sewn both sections to the band. What we're going to do now is fold it in half, like so. And what you're going to do is close up the ends of the band now, about a centimetre. This is what the overlap was for. Close it up with a row of sewing uh, just at the end. Turn that one over and close that one up with the row of sewing at the end. Okay, that's the next step. Okay, we've closed up those end sections now so we can turn the whole thing the right way out, pushing the corners out. so 
and what I'm going to do now is just run a sewing stitch along near the seam going through all the thicknesses to hold all the um, band together. Okay. okay, when I've run my running stitch all the way across, I'm just going to give this a press with the iron to uh, flatten it out a bit. Right, this is the top and the rivets here. As you can see, they are now all joined together and that is finished for now. We're going to go to the top tier and what we're going to do is just turn that around in half and I'm just going to secure that the stitch so it doesn't come undone all stitched up just the top piece now we're going to fold that in half and we're going to have that as the center back so that's how it will look I'm just going to get a hold of it what we have to do now is squeeze all of that into this tiny little band that we did earlier on I mean Tracy is is put uh, a crease in that. So we'll lay the inside to the ruffles like that, find the middle part, and then we're going to pin it, tack it, and then sew it to the inside section. Okay, now I've machined that in to the inside of the band. What we're going to do now is turn the band over like so and what you're going to do is turn a seam and sew it down level with that sewing line on the back. You have to do this uh, by hand. This is the bottom section of train, but what we need to do with this is to neaten the edge. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece of material on a curve that's going to go all the way around at the bottom so that when it's turned the right way out you'll have a neat edge. And I'm going to make uh, the width approximately 4 inches. Okay, to get your curve lay your bottom section onto your material and mark where the curve is going all the way around and then from the corner go up four inches then take your material off and then you're going to reposition it where I've just done starting four inches up and just lightly tack it to the material going to make a mark on your material now and again coming all the way around here on this side then you're going to cut the whole section out okay that's the curve cut now I'm going to attach it down the sides and all the way along this bottom seam okay this is our bottom lower train Mat sweeps along the floor at the back. It's now been sewn on that edge and had a press with the iron all the way along the edge. The pins are still there holding it in place. The next thing you need to do is cut out a piece of net tool, a bit bigger than the piece as it is at the moment. 
Right, just to quickly show you, here's my net for my uh, Swarovski crystals. I've pre-decorated on before. 